Hi friends, in this video we are going to see about Cursor.js with Playwright. So Play Playwright is a very new um, driver which is developed by Microsoft. Uh, it's uh, Playwright is a node library which helps to automate Chromium, WebKit and the Firefox process with a single API. So it is very well good for the cross browser test web automation. It's very reliable and capable. It is built similar to the Puppeteer. It is very good with cross browser support with better design for test automation. So let's start. We go to I just start my project from the scratch as I showed. So I create a new folder for Node.js. So this time concept JS. Right. I open the folder, play right in my VS Code. So once I open, there's nothing inside. It's a brand new. I open my terminal. So as I should, the first command will be npm init to initiate package JSON. So next step is install the dependencies npm install cursor.js and then play right so we can do both installation at once start so it takes a couple of minutes so basically this is very good for cross browser testing uh, when I say very good for cross browser testing it coverage most of the browsers basically it has a uh, three main um, protocols chromium webkit and firefox so chromium is already covered by chrome browsers as well as edge webkit is used for safari it's built on ios mac os and then firefox it's a gecko driver so all three are covered here so it's very bit uh, very much easy for us to do uh, to cover all the cross browser testing in a one shot so now the dependencies are installed um, next step is we just need to initiate the test in cursor.js cursor unit test so this time I'm using playwright. Just use the arrow key and set the playwright slash output English. So you are listening. You are on site to check it. Show the browser. Yes, I want to show the browser. If you want to run headless mode, you can mention it now. So default browser is Chromium. If you want to, we can try with different option, but now I default to default browser. I run done with so half part test done. Now we move the next part to create a new test. It will support so JS itself create a new test templates. It will be easy for us. I say Google search. The test file is same file. So everything is done. Now if I go to course JS config file, you can see how whatever the values I have entered, it's everything is already there. So Google search, my test case is simple. I just open the page, home page, and I wait for two seconds. That's it. So now I run it in PX, concept, run. So for the first time, it will open the Chromium browser, it should. So it's from the Chromium browser. Wait for two seconds. That's it. So I want to run against Firefox. Then it's, it's pretty simple. I just go to the config file. So there's a Chromium. I just make it as a Firefox. And run the app again. Same command. 
so this time it will not open chromium instead it open firefox browser it's pretty much simple that's it open the browser wait for two seconds close it now the third option is webkit we take the value firefox to webkit and save under the same command this time you don't want to open firefox it's open webkit it just simulates the safari browser with safari browser drivers that's it we just ran the simple test case in across three different type of browsers it's, it's very pretty very very much very good for cross browser web automation thank you guys i just upload this search code in the google drive i have provided the link in my description please refer it for any clarification if you need thanks for watching the video bye